Hello and welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, to another glorious episode of the UEF Campaign and Supreme Commander. This might be take two, but we're not going to talk about that in greater detail. Okay, so... What are you talking about, Kyle? Bubbles, we've never seen this map in our lives, Bubbles. I've never played this map before in my life. Never even in our free time, let alone in this mod. Because that nope. would insinuate that we had technical difficulties or strategical difficulties, depending. Or, uh, technically, reading difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> reading difficulties. <laughs> may or may not have read the mission parameters backwards. <laughs> That's kind of no reminds, me. reminds me of that one mission in, uh, there's an old game, Command and Conquer, where it's like, capture the tech lab, except I thought it said destroy the tech Tech lab. <laughs> and so it was a hard mission, so I was like, yes. So I blew it up, and it's like, mission failed. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> Good job. Oh, sadness. Now, ready up. We gotta win. We gotta win the video game, boy. It's gonna be autism. Well, at least our plan is pretty much clear now. Yeah. <laughs> God have fun. Always build walls around your tier 1 defenses. Why? They're just gonna artillery them to death anyway. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh, God. If you want, you can... Could... No, never mind. I was going to suggest that you do just power. I'm just going to get this one. You, you handle mass. I'll do the power. The entire facility will explode. Colonel Arnold, General Clark's orders are to get to Station Lima Foxtrot and fix that power core ASAP. Earth, come out. Okay, can you get some AA up at some point? Yes, I will. I'm not going to build multiple factories, because again, I don't really think there's anything past two. I'm going to pop it on this, and I'm going to start building this first. Those things take too long to decay, that's true. That's pretty cool. They do take a while to decay. This is this way I can just queue it up and not have to worry about it. I hope. Pew pew pew. Well, this decaying, but once the sec last power generator is done, then I can just do a bit on each. Technically a waste of resources, but meh. Eh, we should be fine. We should have to meta that hard, I wouldn't think. No. Fucking hope. <laughs> If we did, that would be fucking terrible, and I would rather kill myself. Honestly, I'm gonna switch to artillery trucks, because it seems that they attacked us, uh, artillery trucks last time. If, if they did attack us last time, I think it would have been artillery trucks. They probably would have been. Yeah, because, you know, the Ian Illuminant wouldn't send any other forces to no, escort They, they love the artillery. Mm. That much we know. <laughs> that much we definitely... Fucking do now. Wait, what the? But it's not from experience. Brought me on the wrong side of the no, of course not. I'm no help, Earthcom. It'll be hours before I can get there. Tell Clark the rookie will have to do it on his own. The rookie. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant General Clark has placed you in charge of the op. Establish a base with some basic defenses, and then basic build an air defense. factory. Colonel Arnold will advise as. Your mother is a basic defense. Now to see if you can't get some mass storage up so you can get a bit more mass production out of this shit. Yep. Working on that. Or trying to at least. As we're both working on anti-aircraft it seems. Yes. I think we'll need them. I don't know why I think this, but I think we do. There's good evidence to suggest we will. What evidence? What are you talking about? No, I'm just saying, it's a cold map. When you think cold, you think air, right? Because it's arid, hmm? dusty, snowy, oxygen. <laughs> cold. I feel like I should slap you for the start. <laughs> I'm just going to keep insinuatingly random things until it makes fucking sense. But Actually, but it does you, to me. It never makes sense. Because I, every time yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised it does to you. Well, no, shut up. Because <laughs> <laughs> in the game Sacrifice... Cold, the god of like the cold areas was Stratos, the god of you know wind in the air. Shut up. 
It made sense to me. I'm sure it made sense to you, Kyle. Now, to go eat some planes. Oh, game does this sometimes. Game has hiccups and gets weird. It's like, Rrr. Yeah, it does that once. Most games do. Alright. Go, minions. Get us some moss. We desperately need it. Desperately is an under fucking statement of the fucking century. <laughs> it may be underproducing. By a significant margin. You go get that wreck, I guess. That's how desperate we are. That's how desperate. Oh, wow. Ripping the bottom of the barrel, I see. Yep. Well, so far, so good. For now. Give it time. That's true. You know, there's some more planes at us. Really use the moss. Attention, Station Lima Foxtrot. What a great name. Templar Min of the Aeon Illuminate. We have no intention of harming you. The way she said that. Now and avoid yes. unnecessary bloodshed. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her, Kyle. I will. Surrender, balls. Oh, oh. <laughs> Except the surrender oh, no. button leads to my commander self-destructing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that it probably does. Are you putting we should lose the for both of those. Uh, I may have misclicked. <laughs> Buffles, I noticed that. Just a slight misclick. I'd just like to point out if they had the technology to produce units like this, the the conflicts would be ludicrous for worlds that have been secured for over like an hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> like if you actually think about how that works. It's the worst none thing of these ever. vehicles use fuel or any sort of logistics it seems. They have wireless power. Is that how that works? It, it seems to be. That technology is extraordinarily advanced. Holy Christ. Um, so I may have just lost an engineer. Is it because it crashed into it? It, one of the place may have crashed right on top of said engineer. Yeah, that's right. Gotta be careful. Those racks come coming down, boy. Look yep. out. They come down with a fury. Things. Fairly good AA grid, but he's used a few more turrets here and there. Always. Stop hitting my commander! <laughs> it's a magnet! As they come down, it's like, <laughs> fucking adjust course just for the commander. It's like, Ebo, she's a bit of a magnet. Bit of a bit of a wreck magnet, if you know what I mean, wink wink. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> you were terrible. Thanks. Really appreciate that. No problem, bruh. Thanks, bruh. Yeah, how's the station doing? 400, that's fine for now. No need to rush quite yet. Yet. The core temperature has doubled. We can't last much longer. Shut up. Shut up, whore. Fucking eggheads. So, yeah, I'm a nerd. Power of the nerddom. But I'm going to try to lighten up the anti-aircraft so it's easier to break through this time. I mean, uh, if we had tried to attempt it to break through in the past. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Probably use a sensor, though. Probably use a sensor. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to artillery. Oh, God, they're bombers. 
Oh, yes, they do have a fuck ton of bombers there. Nothing else is giving us mass. Go closer. Oh, they actually get up to drop their bombs, the problem. Yep. On the right side, we managed to kill most. Yeah. Feel free to eat some of that mass. Oh, good thing I didn't start building in that spot yet. <laughs> Jesus! Alright. Taking care of some of their perimeter fucking anti air, but that's gonna take. Yeah. Very well. The nice thing is the aircraft go in circles, right? So I'm shooting them down. Mm. It will lessen the air travel over that area. Good. Now, I can't get my ground forces actually to the other side, so it's going to be on you to build the base on that side. Yeah, that's fine. But I'll try to clear the path the best of my abilities. We just need to grab the mouse from yet. anything we can. Earth come out. At 362 HP. Heads up. Okay. I'm already preparing to send stuff. Never mind. That was annoying. I took out one of my fucking anti aircraft guns. Uh, the force. They took out the transports. Wait a minute, I accidentally built the wall there. Fuck! <laughs> Lol. I'm gonna start rushing fighter production, I guess. I'm making my way towards that mass extractor bubbles. Ah. Okay. Gotta fight them hard. They want to kill us. I'm a way of life. Pretty much. I mean, this is the Aeon fucking Illuminate, so you know. <laughs> kill the infidels and all that. Seraphim Akbar. Oh, oh. There. That's gonna help. Now to get the transport. Fucking incrementally easy now. Um, well, Up power. What about power? It's a thing. You have it. Uh, barely. Electricity of 218, don't we? Yeah, while I was building, it was going down. Oh, okay. God damn it. Need another transport. You're gonna go and secure that mass zone, boy. Be strong. Build anti air by obvious fucking reasons. Now just shit out an artistic amount of fighters. Increasingly unstable. Yeah, we know. Got to do something. There All right, the path should left. be pretty fucking clear now. Hug okay. north. Uh, they're shelling you. 
What? Oh. Artillery. Oh, you would. I've got tanks, don't worry. Okay. I've cleared up, I've cleared out as much as I could of that fucking thing. Jesus. They have a base by that mass point, do you think, down about here? Uh, maybe. I like how I can type. Pew. They have to be, unless the units are coming off map. Annoying, because they can't really... Uh, they... Them. Do tend to do that. Cancerous. Another constructor. Was he dead? They could easily no. There he is. Instead, we'll build a singer. The core has been repaired and the station is secure. Good job, Lieutenant. Or now to start upgrading the. Uh... Sir, scans detect a large group of Aeon We're building a base forces. there, though. They appear to yep, be ready. I'm gonna wait to upgrade it. Just mark it. authorized you to receive the air cleaner Tech 2 anti-air turret and the Triad. Just start upgrading. Um, upgrade any of your factories this one. and construct a Tech 2 engineer okay. to build these new units. Earth, come out. I'll just dump everything on it. Scum, but look at these little fucking cocksucking weasels. Oh, they are scum. Killing my fucking anti air turrets. My Supreme Commander dude has been building these for fucking ages. <laughs> yes. In a perpetual life of construction. Let's just leave it like that. Mm, construction. Radar dish will be up soon. At least we can do tier 2 now. Sort of. Sort of, indeed. The, the, the tier 2 radar or uh, anti-aircraft vehicles will be fucking great. Oh, yeah. Those things are beautiful. We are running low on Mars and electricity. I'm going to attempt to secure that uh, another geothermal plant up there. Okay. Give us enough electricity. We only have to worry about the mass. So, uh, now we're getting running low on electricity. Oh, never mind. We're on low on mass first. Don't forget to build the. Uh... Anti. Sir, the Aeon will soon launch an attack. Yeah, start Earth building the uh, things that. Oh boy, that's coming quicker than I thought it would. Yep. Trying to get the uh, tier two engineers out. Yeah, that mass extractor is uh, almost done. Another one down. Start doing the one down there now. Yeah, uh, build point defense turrets on the south half. Second now. Now they have artillery, you do know that, right? Yes. Okay, good. Which is why I wanted to build gunships. Not surprisingly, we need moss for that. And electricity. Electricity problem will be solved soon. I'm trying to eat whatever wrecks I can find with my commander. 
that are safe to get to. I think we'll get them this time. They're coming! They're going to slaughter us all! Well, I like they're how coming now. animations were just like, you were meh. Given the opportunity yeah. to save yourselves. You will now suffer the wrath of the Illuminate. From the first fucking wave. Mm -hmm. This time you're making good short work of their bombers. They won't even get a second run. Nope. Comes the ground wave. That mass extractor's done. Upgrading the one at the bottom now. Okay. I'm going to attempt to be securing the uh, one on the north. Oh boy. Well, we're operating at the positive, but I'm not upgrading anything or building anything. I am building some stuff. I mean, you gotta, because. Such as gunships and turrets and shit. Must be spread to all of humanity. Fuck you. Sir, Watch your planes. More units are approaching. Earth I don't care. I'd rather have them here. Yeah. Oh, you can actually do this. Them. Oh, okay. You'd, you'd have to know that. Get the transports. Vengeance will be ours. Sir, maybe you should check out your objectives. Earth come out. Maybe you should check out your objectives. Earth come out. I know he's talking to me because I didn't build the thing. Fine, I'll build an airbase because I do want to have transport capabilities. <laughs> well, doing a lot better this time than the time we never happened before. Yes. It looks like the base will survive. Thanks for the gunships and air support. Yes. Okay, we still can't secure that uh, expansion there. You could always turret crawl. Turret crawl is rather two cancers, even for my taste. I'll be upgrading the bases and shitting out uh, tier two anti aircraft vehicles. That should do the trick. Maybe. The princess has foreseen my victory. What victory? The princess. Troops died. Another force is moving in, sir. This is the biggest one yet. My God. There's four Colonel transports, Arnold possibly has five. That you have constructed an air factory. We're uploading the schematic for the C6 Courier light air transport. I want. The... What does Tier Two got? They just have the. Better oh transport? God! Now they're bringing in Tier Two gunships. Oh God! Ah! What oh, was you okay? No way. This um, looks like a clusterfuck. Um, slight problem. They have control of the skies. They may. But on the flip side, just air there's no bombers riders. left. <laughs> I killed all the bombers at least. Operation area. Why do you resist? Lay down your arms and accept your fate. No. Shielding. Nice job defending oh, no. the station, rookie. Sir, General Clark has decided to evacuate Luthien. Oh yeah. You are to escort a convoy. We have to move that to here. The Lima. thing. What thing? After all this, we're abandoning the planet to those. Monsters. We have to get a bunch of troops down to um, Luthien, Lieutenant, and then move them up to the um, we'll science lab. Ready to evacuate once you get some escorts down here. They're going to hit us hard. Right, but so they don't. Will they come under attack before then, or can we secure the area? Sure I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. Uh-huh. Find out. I have transport capabilities. Good. I'm gonna use that to ferry forces, because you can make the ferry points. Yep. We're just super handy. 
I'm building anti -air an anti-aircraft, uh, about 10 of the tier twos. So I'm trying to secure that mass zone. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea. Use your transport to move either your armored command unit or an engineer to Lima. Scans are showing a lot of Aeon activity between you and the facility, so it's gonna be hot. Clear out the enemy before you try and reach Lima. You're on your own, rookie. My god, we're on our own. After he says that? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, like, we've been on our own for a while, you know? <laughs> Fucking lord. The audio is a little wonky. It's it based on the objective completion, because you complete one objective, the game counts it, but it doesn't register per thing, though. But yeah. Here's the audio file. To activate, which is kind of funny. It makes it very awkward. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alright, I think a series of four transports will be enough to ferry the amount of vehicles I can produce. Yep, but you're going to need a massive escort. You want to cover the escort part, or you want me to do that? Ah, uh, we're both going to need to do that. Alright, I will shoot out eight ton of fighters then. Fighters? Right, for an escort? No? Won't you need fighter wings for escorts, or no? Uh, what we need to bring down there is 20 tanks, 20... No, 20 tanks, 14 AA units, and 12 gunships. Wait, is that what the That's what we says? need to bring down there for the objective. Oh, then we're going to need more of them. Fuck no, let's just kill the ma kill off all the bases on the map first, then worry about that. I returning. wouldn't be surprised if they keep calling in units. Wouldn't be surprised either. Putting up a couple more defenses on the, uh, on the other place. Wish scouts. you could get a boss from these from these things, but no. Why would we? Why would we get this stuff? Because they are so busy using their mass, right? Yeah, they don't. What are they using their mass for? They need to divert it over to us. We are protecting them, after all. all right, I'm going to secure that mass point. That should be enough anti-aircraft vehicles to do the trick. Depending on what's there. So. Well, we can only hope. We got tier two now. Right, you click on. Oh no, that's how this works. Set up a ferry point here. Now we need to scout ahead to see a clear LZ. Yeah. Okay, setting up my scout bikes. I'm going to secure that mass zone. I'm going to try one thing. Assuming the scouts don't run into fucking armored columns. Like that. <laughs> Blocks of enemy units. Got it. Meh. Uh, ah, that's just mobile AA, right? Something like that. Send in a wee bit of help for you. Off. They are indeed attacking the other base. Okay, so we have to defend both positions. Yep. Oh yeah, the tier two flak trucks can just obliterate those airplanes. Skyboxers fucking annihilate tier ones. Oh, you mm -hmm. boys didn't get out of there. Nope. Well, they killed uh, a couple of things there. It'll be a good idea to set up a radar station here. That it will. Remember, you can build tier two point defense there now. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, with tier two vehicles. Yes. Tier two defenses. Yay, we don't have to use the fucking point defenses. Woo! Nope. I'm using everything for production. 
these tanks are gonna go and clear out that hill, because on that fucking ice bank there, there seems to be a buildup of enemy forces. I don't quite like. Yeah, we go. Blew the little fuckers to pieces. Is it mean the explosions and debris improved? I don't remember it being that nice. I don't know. I Look feel like there's a... Maybe I underestimated the visuals of this game, but I feel like it's improved drastically. I think you've been underestimating it, because I remember the game being actually quite good looking, particularly for the time. Guard order. Is there a guard order? I thought there was a guard. Yeah, assist. Those four fighters will assist him. Um... So, uh, your tanks are positioned retardedly? Because they can't fire on anything on the other side of the hill. Oh, God damn it! Well, I'll take care of that. Forward a little bit. Careful, though. There are enemy... Yep. I know. I wish you could get tech to power generators. That would help. That would fucking help quite a fucking bit. Okay, we've got good yeah. fighter wings. Hey, I lost one of the master's extractors, so I'm gonna grab that. Alright, gonna start ferrying forces to it on the other side, see if we can't find their base. Okay. Yeah. The transporter. I love the ferry system in this game. It yeah, made invasion so much like less micro intensive. What a brilliant oh, yeah. idea. Ferry system is fucking great. Oh wow, you have quite the fighter wing escort. <laughs> Besides Sir, my pitiful one. There's the radar. radar installations in the area. Nice. Destroy right. them if you are able. Thanks for on their way out. to deal with that one. Shit. Ah, uh, we can actually see all of the radars now. So there's bases near those? No, there's no base down here, just radar. No, I don't think there's any base anywhere on this map except for the complete bottom. That one's been neutralized. Going to deal with the next one. Watch out, there's a huge armored column there. I'll have my forces deal with that. Alright, loading up more tanks. One thing that would be not bad would be to hunker down a base here. Yep. I'm gonna have my forces cut through, um... Here. I bet there's no pens. Mm -hmm. Wish there was a battle pen for this game, that would've been fantastic. And then push up through there. Yeah. Good set my air force to assist your convoy. I've got an armored column going to deal with that fucking glob of stuff. See if I can't annihilate that troll thing that they got going on. You know what I hate in this game? What? When you um, queue up a lot of things. And yeah. then you accidentally place one thing, just, just one tile off, and then you have to get rid of the entire queue. It's like, god damn it! Wait, no, you can just hold shift, and when you deselect the building and just move it. What? Select the building? Yeah. So when you're queuing up stuff, right? Uh, like if I queue up a wall with my commander far away, and I can go like bunch, and the one of them's off. If you, if after you deselect, or once you have the commander selected, and you hold shift. Uh, left click and drag the item that's off and then drag it to where you want it to be. Huh. I did that? not actually know that. What? Bubbles? That fa If we had a supposedly failed recording, I feel like you completely told me to, that I didn't know what I was talking about. You never know what you're talking about. That was the one thing I got out of the tutorial that was fucking useful, actually. Uh, uh, I never did the tutorial. I forgot to make tangoos. I forgot to make tangoos. 
My play news are sad. <laughs> my play... I'm lucky like for I'm lucky like building an air force when I'm already building an air force. Yeah, I stopped building that. I was building an escort force, but because I, I didn't know if you were at me cleaning down stuff. Where are you? Don't die. Maybe. Yeah. Now, can I force you to destroy this stuff? Now, God damn it! I wish I could destroy the um, the air stuff. Yeah, me too. That's fucking highly annoying. Your anti-aircraft is being destroyed. No, the artillery vehicle. Fools. Beautiful. There you are. We're moving to secure the next mass extraction zone, my little slut boy. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, with that. Bring in an engineer. Building a sensor bay over here. Like you got all the patrols. You nice. actually impressed me with that one, rookie. Yeah, <laughs> fuck up. All right, so what would we need a bunch of anti-aircraft vehicles too. Yes. What was the fourteen? Point? I think it was fourteen. Okay, easy lemon make fucking squeezy. Because that last sensor ray, and then we've got them there. Mm -hmm. All three Aeon short range radar installations have been destroyed. Earth come out. Earth come out. There's that beamers. Uh oh. I was I've got you, bro. Because I'm unloading my dudes here. They're like, oh no. <laughs> I've got you. Oh, good. Also, they were damaging this base. I was a little horse. They don't actually damage it. It's they have damage. a base down there somewhere? Yes, they have a base further south. Oh yeah, we just can't access it. Nope. Yeah, I'm now, gonna move those tanks coming. over there to deal with that fucking convoy. What do we need in there? Back to Luthien. Uh, I got ten gunships so far. Dude. <sighs> da, 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 da. All right, so now since so you're a Barker, you have to upgrade this one. Give me that. Because I already had a Tech Two engineer there. I don't know what he decided to build there. Oops. Happens to the best of them, Bibs. Wow, this mission is taking long because we need to prepare because we're playing on hard. Mission is hard, holy fuck. Uh oh, enemy gunships to the south. Yeah, I see them. The flak trucks are trying to avenge the mini fall. The flaks are beautiful. I don't have the radar though, cannot see far enough. Luthien Colony has been successfully evacuated and medical teams are tending to the survivors. Mission completed. Earth come out. Uh, good. Well. Now what? I don't know how that works, but well. Yeah, now what? <laughs> I mean, we didn't actually do it. So I don't know why that voice file played then. You couldn't be used? How many vehicles do we need in there? Zero to twenty, the civilians. Kyle. What? That. 
God damn it. They need to give me tier two tanks, and then they'll actually last when I send them up on that fucking hill. Yeah, tier two tanks would be nice. Tier one tanks can't fucking last that long. Ah. Look how they just suck them up. Like, oh. They take those little fucking AA vehicles down there. All right, what are all the vehicles we needed in there? I've got 14 out of 14. 14 AA, 20 tanks. Okay. Yep, really and 12 gunships. Gunships. I got 12 tanks. I guess then in gunships. First, I'm going to deal with that attack wave. Now, let's see how many gunships survive. Oh, never mind, factories. You're going to be producing tanks for the defense of this base. Quite a wave. Yep. Could you focus on the AA instead, maybe? Do have tanks? No, my gunships. I mean, they're on their way. Like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Yeah, they're just too slow. It's already done. <laughs> so, oh, they are tech too, so. What else do we need? Uh, 12 what? 12 gunships. Oh, terrible. Fair enough, we got shields. That would have been great. Would have been fan fucking fantastic. But we don't, so fuck us. Almost have everything we need. Just need the gunships and the tanks. I guess you need to put gunships there, because I have gunships there, but they don't seem to be counting. Oh my god. Uh, you're retarded. Alright, just help my air factory produce gunships. They're gonna head directly there. Hey, stop trying to destroy my shit. The engine is alone. Oh, fuck them, that. That's kind of fucking stupid, that's how that works. Oh, your engineers? Oh, I some tanks yeah, no. down there, but... Never mind. I can make more. Back yeah, it's really stupid. Back to the There's also a way to gift your units in that case, but no, there isn't. Yeah. Sadly, there isn't a gift function. Stop ferrying tanks down there. Oh, the plane's running out of fuel. That happened. And we can't refuel them either. Don't yeah. have the tech for it. <laughs> what a it's dumb so thing. Retarded. What a dumb thing. They give you it access really... to these things like, all right, here's planes. My like, boss, how do I repair them? You know. Oh Jesus! How do you refuel them? And you don't have that either. Any transports are even fucking alive? No, very Brother. Need more. Very tanks down there instead. Them, I do think they actually do refuel slowly when they landed. There's a recharge function. That was good. Transports, all transports assist movement of vehicles. <clears throat> oh boy. <coughs> Kill my engineers again. God damn it. It's annoying. I should be ferrying tanks down there now. I guess another attack wave. Gunships won't hold them for forever. Almost up with the transports. Only 
like six more. I wish you could uh, field upgrade um, engineers. God damn it, transport, you dumb motherfucks. Still doing the old fucking transport route. I thought they reset it. To cancel it. How are you doing on gunships? Got a few. Good. You know, stop. You just look sad trying to fucking even stay caught up to anything. Try this again. I'm now firing tanks down there. Okay. It would help if you moved stuff up to the actual know, extractor, for, but. I was waiting for the ferries to start working. <laughs> okay. That way I could actually reman the front line every time they lose tanks. Also, I wish there was a way to infinitely produce something. There is. Click oh. the infinite button. The uh, infinite build. It's above the pause button. I see it. Infinitely constructing tanks that are infinitely being ferried. Glorious. It's almost like an AI. <laughs> yup. Beautiful. Something about Supreme Commander just gave me autism. God damn it. Lack of air support is definitely going to be a hindrance, but it's okay. I do bring uh, flapjacks. Move them forward. Lack of air support. Never mind. <laughs> it's quite a bit of air power. The power of infinity build. Lieutenant, the trucks have exited the colony. They are now okay. under your control. Luthien out. Use the ferry vehicles, right? Uh, maybe. I think I will. Right, it's ready. artillery. Build transports to handle them then. This one is in your court, because that's just AAM. There are nine. I'll build two transports. That should be more than enough to handle both of them. And then I'll have them ferry to the colony. Or to the facility. Oh. I guess I reached the unit cap. Yeah, I'm about to reach said unit cap as well. My I guess I don't need that many fighters. Okay, I was able to produce transports in time, so that's good. The ferry ability makes me happy. I want to go to the more harder missions now. <laughs> fucking awesome. I love it. The ferry ability made transports fucking cool. They were always annoying. In every RTS game I'd ever played. Oh, Kyle, artillery that you're not doing anything about. Oh, fuck. I need long range artillery vehicles plus radar. <sighs> yes. I should start building artillery with one of the factories. I think I'll switch over from infinite production of tanks to infinite production of artillery vehicles. And if we give the radar, we should be able to outrange them then. Should. Alright, the ferries can only carry, I think, about two at a time because they're actually bigger than I thought in terms of. Yes, uh, gunships can probably carry them. Come on. Gunships, Kyle? Got them. They can ferry. They can? Yeah. Oh, that's right, I forgot. We have gunships can ferry. That should be able to handle the rest, actually. Oh god, that looks absolutely autistic. Alright, there's the rest of them. They're away. Carrying our little truckoos to victory. Civilians get the express route. We're nice people. Yes, they do. Too nice. I mean, we are the UEF. We're pretending we're the good guys now. We are the good guys. What are you talking about? Hashtag bubble news. Hashtag bubble news. Bubbly, Alright. That should be the end of this mission. No, wait, we have to. It opens up the next part of the mission. Yes. Then we get to destroy the enemy base, yes, I think. The truck has reached the station safely. Earth, come out. Whee! Luthien Adorable. Has successfully evacuated, and medical teams are seeing to the survivors. 
Mission completed. Earth come out. Earth good. Sir, in addition to defending Station Lima Foxtrot, you are to exterminate the Aeon Commander. Colonel Arnold will continue to advise. Earth come out. I have the solution for that. The final solution. We rehashed the previous strategy. Bro, everything we have at the enemy. Okay, I'm gonna go scout the base. Okay, resetting the drop coordinates to a better LZ closer to enemy lines. Yeah, shield deduce this time. There. Got to rebush my fighters. That should free up some pop cap. Alright. Burying as many things as possible. Oh my god, that is glorious. All those gunships and fucking transports are gonna fill up and just carry a fuck ton of tankus. Yes. One Some thing of the I did like about, about them. Subcom 2 was the level design. Do you remember that? I never actually did play the game. Well, the game was meh. But the Sub level design smart. was actually really good. Hmm. That's what made me sad. <laughs> oh, what was it? It was the fucking like arid place with like the mountains that you fought in, with all the weird peaks and like valleys or not peaks, but like spires that you're fighting on top of. That looked amazing, but again, subcom two. Yeah. Not as big. Uh, it's like a quarter not heard of the map. anything good about the game. Uh, it was so much smaller. Well, I'll give credit where credit is due. Level design, pretty fucking cool looking. Other than that, me. Mehness is badness. Pretty fucking much, mate, mate, mate. Now that we're ferrying all our production from those factories to here. Can you add your units if you have produced ground vehicles to the same fucking ferry thing or no? Uh, I don't know, but I'm no intentional building them. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I see the point, so no. Yeah, I don't see the ferry point, so I can't. Okay. I know you know where it is. It's basically where the vehicles are getting all picked up. Yes. It's not that hard to find. Alright, going to launch my first wave. I'm going to order just any attack move, and then I'm going to grab the artillery and order them not to do that. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Okay, I'm just going to be spamming bombers, so are you able to deal with your own AA support? Defensive grid is well interesting. Oh yeah, no, they have a proper defensive grid. Tier ones will never reach the facility. I'm just gonna start with that. Nope, tier one will not do you any good. Those defense, those. We'll need to bombard them open first before we can even get through. Yep. But if you can keep them busy, remember you you can hunker down just out of their range and put put on your own turrets. That's what I'm doing. I've ordered four in, the four engineers to be dispatched down there via the ferry system. Okay. And I'm going to build a forward operating base down here instead. But yeah, no, assaulting the position will be a nightmare. Nightmare. There is a vulnerable point in the rear of their base, though. The yes, there is. But that's kind of the boring way. Yes, we're going to beat our way through the front of the base. What a very yeah. weird, weak location to have their stuff. Yes. 
satellite feeds of the Aeon base reveal Then again, I do have 23 gunships I could send down there on that side. Shields. Use ground units to take out our power generators and then hit her head on once the shields are down. So I'm gonna send them in and see what they do. You know how long Supreme Commander battles are? Fucking oh, yeah, no, the battles are long. Like, yeah, the later missions get really long sometimes. They're long plays. <laughs> but it's yes. worth it. Um, it's fucking good. And especially since we're playing on hard. Things just get harder. So, first things first is we establish a defensive grid. Dagger, 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 dagger. I'm giving them some Dhaka. That was not a lot of Dhaka. Adorable. We do need more power. Yes, we do. I'll build some more. But that is that can hit me that far, but uh artillery? Or their turrets? There, got a radar up. Hey. Our artillery, our t defensive point defense uh, stuff should be able to hit. Yeah, I put down some PD. Already. And the tier 2 defenses look not only badass, but it can definitely take care of anything that they have. The tier 3 defenses are kind of shit. Tier 3 is actually kind of bad <laughs> for the UEM. Yes. Yes, because the, um, the chain gun they use, the projectors are so fucking slow. That even if you mask them, they they they'll be firing at something long after it's dead. Yep, which is why for the UEF I just use the point two, tier two defenses and nothing else. No, Best well, way to fight the enemy is to just spam them back. Pretty much. At that point. All right, we should be, quote unquote, good. The tier 3 defenses are really good against experimentals or shit like that. I'm going to start building the anti-air back up the defense line behind this. That should be good enough. Then we can establish a forward construction yard if we want. Construction. Oh, yes. But using the ferry system because while the ferry system is amazing it is only really used for securing a beachhead like we yep but we'll continue to do ferry vehicles until we once you have the area secured it's not all that necessary yep, then we'll produce vehicles from here it'll be quicker and it will be less time consuming to get vehicles to the front line Let's see if this does anything. That might. I don't know. They have a lot of AA. They have a fuck ton of AA. Oh, good God. Uh, we might actually want to hit the... Um... Yeah, we want to hit the rear. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's no. Way too absurd. <laughs> as much as I liked the idea of... B okay. This is smash. doable or normal. It's apparently not doable at all in hard, holy shit. I'm gonna just immediately have this uh, armored column start heading around. <laughs> that was, that was, that was. That was something special is what that was. It's okay though. We've got the enemy under control. They'll be surrendering within the hour. I know. I was like, uh... 
Bibbles, no. Got them contained. I need tier two tech. Be so much yes. easier. <laughs> with things it would that be can nice take... you get attack with tier two stuff. Like all I got are the anti air flabjacks, and that's great, but not good enough. Okay, I'm gonna have these factories cease production. And the ferry system will cease to be wait a minute. I can produce tier two vehicles now. With shield vehicles. <gasps> oh good god, that's necessary. Those like me. Yep. Sneak around. Yeah, we'll finish that and I think that'll be good for the anti air grid. Plus with well, the they're not getting well, through. See. Mars is not doing too well, but we'll see how this does. Yeah, and then we'll build shield generator vehicles to mask the assault. Help mask it. Pew, 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 pew. Pew pew pew. There we go. Looks like our own vehicles are advancing through our own glorious friendly fire. This reminds me of war games so much. <laughs> 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 when you have uh, you have Pfeiffer recover you in war game Red Dragon, and it's like as he's it's you know, not what it looks like covering your advance. It's the artillery is dropping directly on your guys that are advancing. <laughs> like Pfeiffer, <laughs> and Arch just sits there laughing. That's kind of beautiful though. <laughs> I suppose you gotta play that with this fucking retarded. <laughs> Too micro heavy, God! It's actually not as bad as your friends. So fucking cancerous. It's it's more fun when you play with actual groups of people. And you can I know, but still. I've tried it, Kyle, you know that. No you have. I soften up some of the defenses for you. Yes, the vehicles are just rolling in now. Well, for now. It's gonna get worse when you reach the actual stuff. Yes, we have... I think we've done enough to actually cause problems with the shield grid. Yes, take out a couple more generators and we'll definitely have problems. The real question is, can we? Now, where are the... Ah, oh, there you are. You can just put your support on that building. There, producing Tech 2 technology, yay! Hey. Ah. So you could produce Tech 2 vehicles. Yeah, it didn't activate till later, and I just assumed the mission was going to be cancer about this. I was like, really? They expect us to assault this position with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't produce any more Tech 2, so I'm just going to build uh, gunships. Okay, their generators are gone. I'm going to try to back up the uh, what's left of the artillery vehicles outside the wall. It'll take them a while to restore those. But our attack force is gone. Most part, but if I can they even be restored at this point. You know what's beautiful is when you start having like 20 factories that are shit out through units to no end and you just send them all to the front line. That's brutal. Mom. And you then it's just... Them down. You don't even mass up, you just... You just send shit, in just non-stop. Alright, these four factories are producing. If you've gotten any constructors, feel free. I've got four tech level two factories working hard. That's not that many, but... It won't take too long to build up a force. You want me to help you? I'll help you. Oh, 
I have another one here. I'm gonna oh, probably send my commander up. down there. It's safe enough. And we can use the extra help building stuff. He's also really good at that. Yeah. I'll send down three engineers. I'm gonna order my gunships to go down there because I can. I can use them. Oh good, one of them is low on fuel. That's always lovely. Ah, I do hope Supreme Commander gets a sequel. I'd, I'd love a THQ in order to get a sequel. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean the real Supreme Commander. <laughs> Supreme Commander 2 was like a fun little arcadey game that felt like it was better on the console than it was on the PC. And that's the truth of it. Because again, Supreme Commander actually sold really well on the console. Oddly enough. But then again, I guess console players are dying for the idea of strategy games. But again, they, yeah, they there's not really that many strategy games that come to the consoles, so... And so whenever there is one, it gets bought up like crazy, because it's such a niche. But the problem yep. is, it's still hard to play. Like, the commanding... And especially when it's an actually good game. I will I will say this, I had some friends in school back in... That was a what, middle school period when that came out on console. People were talking about it, and I was like, oh, a Spring Commander. I'm like, I didn't know you could play it. He's like, yeah, I bought it on the Xbox. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> First I remember I thought he was talking about like a completely different fucking game. Seems like it. I was like, that doesn't sound right. You should... This shouldn't be... I don't think they're done rebuilding all that. I think that'll take a little while. Fuck you, AI! The gunships are doing well. Wow. Well enough. So you were able to take out one. Yes. My artillery can actually hit them, which is funny. That's beautiful. Move here without being obliterated too much. Yeah, don't you see those missiles arcing over? Beautiful. One of those positions. Where is my artillery? Uh there they are. Right, I threw away about 40 gunships. Obliterate that fucking defensive grid. Guess go gather more moth. You know what I really like? The um the building that automatically um repairs things around it. Oh yes, that building. That's really nice. I actually like spam mm -hmm. those late game. Yes. Don't Fucking great. Micro my shit. According to this, it says it'll take them a minute to wipe out the entire fucking defensive grid, pretty much. <laughs> According to the ETA, I don't believe that. Yeah. That's that that doesn't actually. I think you just fire once and then move on to the next one. Well, it keeps firing if I remember right until they're dead. <laughs> yes, but the ETA is fire once and then move on to the next one. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, they're obliterating those targets pretty quickly. Yes, they are. Once that defensive grid is down, we will launch our glorious assault. No more Steiner tactics. <laughs> Not for, at least for this level. It's always, always. It's what I've been doing so far. <laughs> next thing you expect bubbles to do is start dropping fucking vehicles into their base. <laughs> That's bombers. <laughs> Oh, those are bombers, those are annoying. Oh, they okay, they're having the same problem I had. Too much AA, that's for sure. Yep. Now, did they neutralize too many of my... They actually did target the missile systems. Aggravating. Yep. But, completely understandable, all things fucking considered. Embrace and again. The way. It's not like we don't have any of them, the still. I can definitely build more of the fuckers. It certainly isn't a goddamn problem. That corner of the base is definitely underwhelmed in terms of defensive powers. However, I'm going to shoot out a bit more. Beautiful. It's beautiful! Watching, if you scroll out, watch the little green squares disappear from those fucking, uh... Yes. Ah, uh, artillery. Artillery makes me fucking sloppy wet. Now, <laughs> that was the thing about this game, though. I always loved the goddamn artillery. Yes, because fucking glorious. 
Oh, that, okay. That was the one thing I remember that was good about Subcom 2. They had this thing. The UEF had these things that were artillery buildings, right? But you mm -hmm. could build so many that it would literally look like right... I'll show you later, Bubbles. It's fucking autistic. <laughs> it's like you scroll out, right? And you just see a yellow blob of constant unending yellow blob descending on the enemy. Cancer. Subcom 2 is was autistic. autistic. It wasn't a good game. And that wasn't by no means a good building. It was a disgusting <laughs> building. You could spam it. <laughs> you could spam it in big blocks of hundreds of them and just shell the enemy until there was nothing. That does sound properly cancerous. It, that's why Subcom 2 is not known very well for being a good game. Fuck you, AI! In forward again. Okay, these gunships have to do uh, quite well once some of the AA is taken down. Don't like the others. Well, that tier 2 AA really deals with them. Risk K. Wiped out a bit of the base. Okay, setting in the attack wave. Yes, because now I cleared up. Some of the PD in the back is not a whole lot. There's not a lot of their defenses. I think I'm just gonna order them to shoot out closer to the front because their defense grid should be gone soon. How many gunships do I have now? Uh, 19. How are you doing in there? Fairly well. We're making a huge breakthrough. Yeah, those tier 2 tanks are really helping. We're getting through the soft underbelly. Yeah, because they got double guns and they're fucking sexy looking. There's a commander. Where is it? And they can actually take more than one hit. That is fucking handy. Yes. One more way. You should be able to get through. A lot of their anti-air grid is gone. Yep. Sending in my fucking gunships as well. Yep, I don't think you'll fucking survive. Numbered. <laughs> you help, bitch. Bye. A lot of friendlies are gonna die here. <laughs> yep. That's okay. It's a worthwhile sacrifice. Lieutenant, the first round is on me. This game was E10 and up. I remember on the box. Random fact of the day. <laughs> All things you remember. I was like, I was happy because I was above 10, and my parent, my religious side of the family, would never let me play the game <laughs> if it was anything that was below. Yes, that was a problem for a while. <laughs> However, my mother has since improved on her ways of like, yeah, whatever, fuck it, play it. Because she used to they believe fail the primary objective. she bought into the whole fucking thing where it's like, you know, you're going to be a goddamn little terrorist if you grow up. And I'm like, no, I'll well, just have downs. I mean, like, you're kind of a terrorist. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that concludes today's episode of Autism. I like how I closed it for, you know, now I'm just sitting here and looking at my desktop. You know, pretty desktop. Being, being sad. Being a happy little lad, because we're going to be on mission three, and I remember things only get more cancerous from this point. Oh yeah, they get more and more cancerous. Wait, tell me beautiful. Naval combat, woo. If y'all thought it was taking long now, oh boy. These videos are going to only get longer in these series. Except for each faction. Each faction will start off like, oh wow, that's pretty short. And bam. <laughs> and then Forge then Alliance. Forge Alliance. It's like, we're going to sit here. Turtle up for like two hours <laughs> and we move out. <laughs> Pretty fucking much, Bubbles. But that will be it for today.